In this video series, we're going to cover everything you need to know about building a racing drone. These videos accompany our tech series on PropWash.com, where you can follow the process step by step with pictures. Links to all the relevant articles can be found in the description section of each of these videos. Before we jump into putting together your quadcopter, we need to talk about the gear you're going to need to assemble to complete the build. We broke this into three sections, build components, tools, and consumables. Build components are all your quadcopter parts, the motors, flight controller, frame, and so on. These are all the pieces that will make up your final quadcopter. You have a ton of options for the build components on your first quad. You can build from a prepackaged kit, build from parts, or even buy a Ray to Fly, or RTF for short, which as the name implies is pretty much Ray to Fly right out of the box. Now this video series assumes that you're building from a kit or from parts. In general, you're going to need a frame, four motors, a flight controller, speed controllers, which are usually referred to as ESCs, a power distribution board, or PDB, and finally a receiver. In addition, if you want to fly FPV, you'll need to add a video transmitter and camera to that list as well. To put all the pieces together, you're going to need some tools. Now many of these probably can be found in the standard toolbox, things like scissors, pliers, screwdrivers, so on and so forth. But you might have to go out and buy a soldering iron and multimeter if you haven't done any electrical work before. We have a whole article dedicated to what tools you need for building a quadcopter on PropWash that's linked in the video description. You can also pause the video here to use the on-screen text list. And finally, we have our consumables. Now many build videos gloss over the other consumables used when assembling a quad. These are the extra odds and ends needed to secure and clean up your build. The tape, zip ties, extra wire, velcro, and so on. We put together a list on screen that you can pause and use for reference. Similarly, as mentioned before a few times, the text article has the full list that you can use when putting together a shopping list. We've stressed the written guide here because this video is more about preparation than building, which inevitably at this point means following a list. Having the right materials ready to go will make the process so much easier for both completing the build efficiently and for following the video series as we progress in the build. Next up, we'll start the build process by showing the frame and motor assembly. To watch the next video in the series, you can either watch the build playlist, check out the video description for links to all the uploaded parts, or click on the annotations on screen. We'll see you there.